He really doesn't need an introduction, but I'm going to give him one. He is a three-time Olympic gold medalist. He is a member of the International Swimming Hall of Fame. Rowdy Gaines grabbed gold in the 1984 Olympic Games in LA in the 100-meter freestyle. He's fast and as the anchor on two relays. Look at him, Rowdy never lost his love of swimming, but he has a different goal now than winning medals. He's on a mission now to teach Hoosiers water safety through the legacy project around next month's Olympic swimming trials that of course are right here in Indy. Look who's here, Rowdy joining us live to tell us about this swim in safety program and what he wants you to know about it. So nice to meet you. You too, It Angela. is an honor to be Thank sitting you. next to you anytime that I get to meet somebody who's competed and to be as tough as you are in life <laughs> about things seriously. I have teenagers when I watch what you were able to accomplish. Um, it's just really neat to meet you. So nice to see you. Tell me about what you brought here. Well, it's funny because it's a, it's a nice conversation. <laughs> yeah. It's the Olympic torch what? from my Olympics. Now it's, you know, it's 40 years yes. old, of course. I'm old, so, um, but it's pretty cool. Look at and, this, you guys. And, uh, it's the actual torch. hold it. Torch. Like, you yep, you yep. carried it's this. the actual torch that, uh, wow. that was in the games of 84. And I figured, hey, you know, it's 40 years later. We're here we celebrating are. an Olympic summer and, and the trials here in Indy. So. Thought it'd be fun to bring. Let's talk about you more in a minute and the trials in the Olympics. But I want to talk because I know you're here because water safety is something now that is really important to you. Why are you so passionate? I mean, it makes sense, but you know, you could be doing anything these days. Well, you know, it's funny because I think water for me, it, you know, is in my DNA. You know, it's yeah. part of the fabric of who I am. And the greatest joy I've ever had in my life has been around the water, whether mm -hmm. it's with my kids or as a kid. And it also can bring tragedy to families if you're not careful. So what we're basically saying is if you're in or around water whatsoever this summer, okay. please put your children in swim lessons, sort of like what you're seeing right now. Yeah, so what are you going to be doing here? And like, who's eligible? How many Hoosiers do you want to reach? What is going on? Well, the cool thing is we want to blanket the state. This okay. is not just about Indianapolis, but I love the word you use, Hoosiers, and the fact that we really want to make sure that Indiana understands that water safety is critical. It's critical across the country, obviously, mm -hmm. but it's something that I think we really need to do a better job in educating mm -hmm. the public to make them understand that drowning is a number one cause of unintentional death in children ages one to four, number two to five to 14. So we found the cure and literally the cure, Angela, are swim lessons mm -hmm. because if a child takes swim lessons it reduces that risk by almost 90 percent yeah we have it every year you know we right. warn people and then we have several yep. that 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 and it breaks my heart because i know how unnecessary it is in most cases that's the problem is it's i just need to tell those parents please put your children in swim lessons and make sure you're the first line of defense okay so i want to talk a little bit too about that program um is a legacy um, project for the Olympic swimming trials at Lucas Oil in June. Um, that is where we're building these two. You know, I say we because I act like I'm part of it. <laughs> not, I'm not helping, but two Olympic-sized pools and a warm-up pool on the field there and a football stadium. What do you think about that? I mean, you probably swam in buildings like that with swimming pools. Never. Maybe never. Are you never kidding me? No way. <laughs> in a football stadium? No, this is going to be a first. No okay. doubt about it. And it's so cool because, you know, this sport has meant so much to me. My trials was here in 1984. So USA Swimming has been a big part of my life for so long. And Indiana Sports Corp has done a great job in bringing so many wonderful events to the city. And we're going to have a swim meet in a football stadium. That's crazy. And not only a swim meet, but it's going to be one of the biggest swim meets in the history of the sport. Yeah, and I mean, you think about it, when those people are, you know, you were that, like you said, in Indianapolis, trying to become an, on the Olympic team, you did, but you think about those athletes that are in your place now, not knowing if they're gonna make it or not, and what they're doing to prepare. Take us back to 1984, and kind of what it was like for you to be here and to go through that. Well, like I said, Angela, this, city means so much to me personally because I did make the Olympic team here but throughout the last 40 years they have been so supportive of our sport of swimming and they I feel have wrapped their arms around what we're trying to do not only from the water safety perspective but also to continue that quest of being the number one swimming country in the world. We've been that for 68 wow. straight years, which is uh, pretty phenomenal. Yeah, wow. What, what age did you start swimming? I didn't start swimming until I was 17. I was a junior in high school. Stop. When I went out for my high school swim team. And that's only because I got cut 
in five other sports. <laughs> I, just didn't realized know, I, I guess I didn't know up. that. I didn't know that. Yeah, I, was, I figured was you were going to tell me when you were young. Well, I did. I you knew had how to swim. Less, swim but, a, uh, yeah. I knew how to swim, but I didn't start swimming competitively until high school. So, hey, anybody out there right That's now. That's right. It's never too late. Never too late. Maybe you'd be carrying the next torch. That's okay. Right. There you go. For more information <laughs> on the Swim in Safety program and the Olympic trials at Lucas Oil, fox59.com slash links. Nice to meet you. Nice to so meet you. So good to have too, you here. Thank 847. You. Look, an Olympian. Yeah.